Hi everyone, this is just a quick video showing how quickly you can get into a game of Elite Dangerous uh, using the Oculus Quest headset once you've got everything installed. Um, now I do have a few issues using the Steam Home VR, uh, Steam VR environment at the moment. The Oculus Quest controllers are playing up a bit, but obviously you're not going to be using them freely, so all you really need to do is load the game. So there's a bit of a process, uh, but it's pretty straightforward, so that's what I'm going to run you through now. Basically, ensure that your library of games is um, on screen, otherwise you're going to struggle to get that up once the, uh, the Steam VR thing loads for whatever reason. So we want that on screen, and then we're going to basically turn on the quest, which I'm going to do now. So that's firing up. Um, that has got a program on it called ALVR and then there's a desktop equivalent app as well which is what I've got here. I'll just put these side by side so it's a bit easier. And then I'm going to load ALVR over here. The first thing I'm going to do in ALVR um, is go to the video and change the resolution to 150%. Uh, this resolution best equals that of the uh, Oculus Quest's headset uh, so you get the uh, the full resolution. If you'd have left it at default it looks more like the original CV1 resolution. Um, you can have a play about with bit rates and whatever. I'm currently just leaving it at the uh, the default of uh, 200 kilobits uh, and 30 megabits per second. Uh, but we'll go through all that in a, another video uh, once I go through the exact setup. So with that done, I'm going to now put the Oculus Quest headset on. And I'll have to quickly just agree the uh, Guardian boundary thing. Just bear with me. Okay, so now I'm on the home screen in Oculus Quest. You can't see this on the screen yet, I guess. So I'm going to the library at the bottom. And then on the left hand menu I'm going to Unknown Sources and then the ALVR app which I previously installed uh, will be listed there. I click on that to start it and then I come back to uh, the uh, the desktop just raise the, the, uh, the headset a second and click Start Server. I'm now in the VR home, on my uh, the Steam VR home, should I say, not the Oculus VR home. It's now streaming the Steam VR home, which is running on the PC, sending the uh, video feed to the uh, router, and then the ALVR app is streaming it to the headset. So now I'm essentially in Steam VR, completely wireless, with the headset on. The controllers don't work very well at the moment. I'm hoping to get that sorted out, but at the moment they don't work. So this is why we loaded up the... Uh, the Steam game list before we did all this. Now I right click on that and click uh, launch Elite Dangerous in Steam VR mode. Now the game is loading and you'll see this come up on screen soon. Obviously it's just loading. There we go, the game's just started now. Okay, here we go. You can probably see it on the screen. Now you can see what I'm seeing. The resolution's great. I don't know if you can just make that out. I'll uh, I'll bring the camera up here so hopefully you can see it. The frames per second is uh, oh, is it? It's not actually showing on the display, but it's at 72 frames per second. Let me see if I can just quickly pull that up. The Steam options. I'm not sure whether I will, but one second. I'm gonna bring the Steam overlay up. No, I'm not going to be able to, am I? Okay, but it looks beautiful. There's no um, there's no uh, pixelation when I'm moving around. It's, it's just like I'm using the Oculus Quest, uh, the Oculus Rift, but the text is way more legible. I've got 1600 uh, by uh, 1440 per eye on an, o an OLED display, it looks great. You do occasionally get the video signal breaking up, but it's 
generally momentarily. Probably need to have a play with the settings a bit more to uh, to get that to work. And then yeah, basically, obviously I've got a keyboard and mouse, but uh, you'll just have your whatever your normal controllers are. I've not set the game up very well. I've been out of the game for a while, so I've got to go through all that again. But obviously, I'll just load the game and show you what it looks like. Just do a little challenge scenario. Okay, here we go, we're in the game. Let's get it. Where is it? So ends the video. Happy VR eliting.